Kai is an all-around good character with projectiles and anti-air moves. He is easy to use, making him a great character for beginners. Shock State When the opponent comes into contact with certain moves from Kai, the opponent is put into a shock state. Hitting an opponent in the shock state with Kai's special moves will strengthen the move's properties. This makes it easier for Kai to get on the offensive, as his special move will become more effective on the opponent. Stun and Edge Kai releases a projectile that flies forward. Getting hit by or blocking this projectile will leave the opponent in the shock state. This is an easy to use move to keep the opponent out at long range. Stun Edge Charge Attack Kai releases a multi-hitting projectile that flies forward. Getting hit by or blocking this projectile will leave the opponent in the shock state. It takes a long time for the projectile to come out, so make sure only to use it when you know Kai is safe. Once the projectile is out, it's a good opportunity to go on the offensive. Aerial Stun Edge Kai releases a projectile that flies forward. The trajectory of the projectile changes between the slash and heavy slash versions of this move. Getting hit by or blocking this projectile will leave the opponent in the shock state. Use the heavy slash version of this move against an opponent that is far away, and use the slash version to stop an opponent that is approaching Kai from the ground. Stun Dipper Kai does a sliding kick while traveling forward, following it up with a slash from his sword. The sliding kick must be blocked while crouching. Kai is able to dodge the opponent's high attacks while sliding forward. The second slash will not combo if Kai is too close to the opponent. So the best range to perform this move is when the opponent is at the same distance as the tip of Kai's far slash. Hood Arc Kai leaps into the air and delivers a flying kick. You can leap over the opponent's incoming attacks and attack the opponent at the same time with this move. This move has very little recovery even if the opponent blocks it, making it a great move to use at close range. Vapor Thrust Kai becomes invincible and slashes above him with his sword while rising in the air. There are two versions of this move, a slash and heavy slash version. Although the heavy slash version of this move deals more damage, it leaves Kai more vulnerable if the move is whiffed or is blocked. Because Kai rises upwards while attacking, this move is great against opponent coming in from the air. It is also a great move to use after being knocked down or during the opponent's offense to get out of a tough situation as the move is also invincible. Dia Claire. Kai steps forward and slashes the opponent with his sword. Getting hit by or blocking this move will leave the opponent in the shock state. The move recovers quickly, making it useful when you want to put the opponent in the shock state at close range. Ride the Lightning An invincible high damaging strike that knocks the opponent back on hit. The move is also really fast, making it a great tool to end your combo with massive damage. Sacred Edge Kai releases a fast, multi-hitting projectile that flies forward. The opponent will be put into the shock state when coming into contact with the projectile. As there is little opening after this move, it is a great way to start your offense. Kai is an all-around good character with projectiles and anti-air moves. He is easy to use, making him a great character for beginners. Use Stun Edge in the far range, or Dia Claire in the close range to put the opponent in the shock state. Kai's special moves will be more effective against the opponent once they are in the shock state, letting you get into the offense more easily. Fudra Arc is especially powerful against the opponent in the shock state. If the opponent tries to avoid being in the shock state by jumping away, use air throw and anti-air moves to deal damage to them. Thank you for watching.